Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some basic stuff about AWS KMS. Firstly, what is it? A AWS KMS is a managed service that makes uh, it easy for you to create and control customer master keys, CMKs, uh, the encryption keys used to encrypt your data. So with AWS KMS you can store your customer master keys securely. Customer master key is the primary resource in AWS KMS. So it has own uh, ARN. It's a logical representation of a master key. You can create symmetric and asymmetric custom uh, master keys. Customer uh, master keys never leave AWS infrastructure unencrypted and uh, no one from AWS has access to these guys only you your master keys are stored in such devices it's called hardware security module okay so what can you do with AWS KMS using AWS managed CMKs you can encrypt and decrypt your data stored on S3 or EBS it is handled transparently and requires no additional action from you. If someone steals your data, which is encrypted, without access to AWS KMS, they can do nothing with this information. Here is a list of some AWS services integrated with AWS KMS. You can also use customer managed CMKs and integrate it with SOPs, for example. Uh, you can generate, encrypt and decrypt data keys using AWS KMS, but you are not forced to generate data keys in AWS KMS. If your tool generates data keys like SOPs, uh, you can use AWS KMS to encrypt and decrypt these keys, no problem. But you have to remember that after creation of data key by AWS KMS, you must care about this data key since then. AWS KMS cares only about master keys. Okay, so what are these data keys? Data keys are encryption keys that you can use to encrypt data, including large amounts of data and other encryption keys. So with data key, you can encrypt and decrypt your data. But master key, it's also called uh, wrapping uh, key, encrypts and decrypts only data key, not, not, uh, not data. If it's difficult for you to understand, don't worry, I'll touch this topic in a minute. As you can see, AWS KMS can generate data key for you. You will receive plain text data key and encrypted data key. You can store encrypted data key wherever you want because you know it's encrypted and can be decrypted only by your customer master key. With plain text data key, you can encrypt and decrypt your data and you should destroy this key as soon as possible. You need this data key in plain text form only for a short period of time. You shouldn't store this data key anywhere. If you want to decrypt your data, you have to decrypt your encrypted data key firstly. How to do that? You need to send your encrypted data key to AWS KMS. AWS uses your customer master key it decrypts this encrypted data key and sends you the data key in plain text form now you can decrypt or encrypt your data using this key remember that you should remove this plain text data key as soon as possible you never have access to your customer master key i mean your cmk never leaves AWS infrastructure. You cannot get your CM key. That's why it's so secure. You only need to send data key to 
AWS KMS. This way, the whole operation is very fast. You don't have to send the whole data. Encryption and decryption of data is on your side. It's called envelope encryption. This way, you can store your data key, encrypted of course, uh, securely where you want. The, the data key is inherently protected by encryption. Your customer master key has encrypted it. Because encryption can be time consuming if you have a lot of data. It makes more sense to re-encrypt the data key instead of raw data. That's another benefit of envelope encryption. You can also encrypt the data encryption key by another encryption key and so on. But eventually there must be one key in plain text. So you can decrypt the keys and then your data. And this top level plain text key is known as the wrapping or master key. You can also use data key pairs. Uh, data key pairs are asymmetric data keys that consist of a mathematically related public key and private key. Using data key pairs, you get public key, private key in plain text form and encrypted private key. When you want to encrypt your data, you need to use uh, public key. In most cases, data key pairs are useful when many parties need to encrypt data that only the party that holds the private key uh, can decrypt. What if someone encrypted something by your public key and now you want to decrypt this data? You only have your encrypted private key. So for obtaining the private key in plain text form, you must send the encrypted private key to AWS KMS. It will decrypt the encrypted private key and send you, sends you uh, the plain text private key. Now you can decrypt your data and remove the plain text private key as soon as possible. What can you also do with data keepers? You can use them for digital signatures. You sign a message with your private key and this message can be verified by anyone who has access to your public key. This way a person who verifies your message is sure that you have access to the private key and it's very likely that you are also associated with the public key. You generate a signature for a message using your private key and put them the message, the signature and your public key somewhere on the internet. Then anyone with access to your public key can verify that it was signed by your private key and it has not changed since it was signed. You can rotate your customer master keys every year. You cannot do it manually. You need to enable it in AWS KMS and AWS will schedule a yearly rotation for this CMK. After that, every year AWS KMS will generate a new backing key for you. You don't have to change anything. All your old backing keys are still there. AWS KMS doesn't delete any rotated key material until you delete the CMK. So you can still decrypt the data key, which was encrypted five years ago, for instance. But any new data key will be encrypted by this new backing key. And that's it. I hope it was useful. If you like it, subscribe my channel and see you later.